What's up YouTube? This is Nimit from Webchronic and today I'm going to show you how you can create table of content on free Elementor page builder next on through the Webchronic. <laughs> Okay, now let's say that you want to create a free, pretty simple yet very elegant looking table of content like this for your blogs on Elementor without any extra plugin or any extra charges. This tutorial is going to help you with that. So let's go ahead and get started with creating this kind of table of content for your blogs on Elementor. So this is my website. So let me just go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. Okay, so this is the blog page which is made through free Elementor page builder. So now let's create some nice and simple table of content. First thing first, we need to add a new section. So let's add a section over here. Click on plus, click on plus again, select the layout. So this is a new section. Now let's color this section first because I believe that the table of content should be a little catchy. So let's just color this section. Okay, so let's click on these dots to edit the section. Then let's go to style, then select background, background type, click on this brush, then color. You can select the color from here. You can pick one of these colors or you can play around a bit and see what looks good. In my case, I've already picked up a color, which I'm going to select. Okay, so that's the background color for my table of content. If you like, if you like this color, you can pick this color. The code of this color is hashtag 333230. So the next step is to add the heading. So we are going to click on this section once again, pick the heading, drag and drop. Okay, so now let's change the heading title. So let's go to title and select table of content. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is to change the color of my title. So I'm going to select style. And then let's go to text color. You can pick any color from here, let's say white or maybe black you want to go with. But I've already shortlisted a color for myself. So I'm going to select this one. The code is hashtag E as in Edward, numeric O, D as in David, numeric 7, C as in Charlie, and then numeric 3. So I'm going to copy and paste it over here. So that's the code. So, so far what we have done, we have picked up a section, we have changed the color of the section, we have picked up the title, changed the title and we have also changed the color of the title. So the next thing we'll be doing is to add the divider into it. So we'll go to this section once again, pick the divider from here, drag it and drop it just like that. Okay, so that's the divider. I think I wanna change the color of my divider. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to style once again, pick the color from here. I'm going to select the same color which I'm using for my font. So I'm going to select that color and change it like that. Okay, as you can see that the color is now changed. And the weight, I would like to make it 1.5, a bit thicker. Rest, everything looks good to me. Let's just have a look. Okay, so it looks pretty good. But if you look over here, there isn't much space over here. So what we can do, we can go back to the editor and we need to add a new widget, which is spacer. It is going to make an extra space over here. Okay, so let's change it to 15 and see this. Okay, now it looks good. So let's move on to the next step and add the content over here. So let's go back to the editor, click the widget here. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and pick the text editor, drop it over here and delete this stuff. So what's the title of my page? It is best air travel accessories. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to copy this and come back to the table of content and paste it over here. And I'm going to add the bullet point. So I'm going to click on bullets. Okay, so now you see that the first option is picked, which is best air travel accessories. So the next thing we have to do, we need to select this stuff and click on the hyperlink, insert edit link. Okay, here you have to put in the hashtag and then you can mention air travel, for example, and then hit enter. So now you see that a hyperlink kind of a thing is created. 
so when we click on it nothing happens so the next step is to place in the anchor link so let's go back to the top and go to widgets again and look for anchor okay so here it is I'm going to pick it up and drop it over here right above the title just like that and then I need to mention the same thing which I had mentioned in the table of content which is hashtag and air travel like that so let's see if the anchor link is working or not so let's go back to the table of content here we are so let's click on it okay so now if you see when I clicked on the link it brought me to the top of the page where I had placed the anchor link so that's how it works so let's go ahead and complete the table of content now so let's go back to the table of content and mention the second option which is this first option on the list GDTK leather passport holder so the concept is same I'm going to pick it up copy this and come over here enter and paste it over here I'm going to place a hashtag and number one on the list and then I need to select this go to edit link again a hashtag then I can mention G D T K I can copy this and then enter it won't work unless I place the anchor link so I need to go back to the widgets again and select anchor pick the anchor and drop it over here just like that and paste the hashtag link okay and try this okay the first one is working fine let's try the second one like this okay so that's how it works so let's go ahead and add the second option which is iClever Boost Cube 24 watts dual USB wall charger again the same concept come over here copy this okay so this content is copied let's go back to the table of content here and the next option hashtag number two so there's a space and paste it over here and then select it again go to edit link then hashtag and I would like to name it iClever and copy this and enter again it won't work unless I place the anchor link so let's go back to option number two come back to widgets select anchor drag and drop just like that and paste it over here okay so let's try the option number two come back to the table of content and click on it so let's add the third option let's go to number three copy this and come back to the table of content okay option number three hashtag three and then space and paste it and then select the whole stuff I can copy this okay then select the whole stuff go to insert link then hashtag then the code then enter then go back to the option number three go to widgets and then anchor drag and drop okay and paste it over here and a hashtag okay so that's the option number three the anchor link let's try that okay so that's how it works so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna skip past this video because I have 10 options to add and once I'm done with the 10 options then I'll come back and show you the next step okay so I'm done with the ninth option so let's click on it and complete the tenth option as well I'm going to copy this and anchor drag and drop then I can mention hashtag and JSON okay and then go back to the table of content there it is and then the tenth option enter hashtag number 10 and then enter then I can select JSON 
copy this, go to hyperlink, and then mention hashtag and JSON, and then enter. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, the last thing that I can add is the conclusion. In fact, I should add the conclusion. So I can select this, and then anchor, drag and drop, then hashtag, conclusion, then I go back to the table of content. And the last option is the conclusion. Then copy this, insert the link, which is hashtag conclusion, and then enter. Okay, so we are done with the table of content, and that's how it looks, pretty nice and simple and clean. So that's the block page, the table, and then the table of content. Okay, but there's one thing which I'm not liking here, is the size of my content. So what I can do, I can go back and select this box, and then go to style, then go to typography, select this, and then the weight, I would like to make it 500, a bit thicker. So now it looks good, I can update this. And then go to view page. Okay, so now let's see how it looks. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Table of content, the color of my theme, the background color is fine. Okay, so now let's see if it works perfectly or not. Okay, this is good. Number one option, this is good. Number two, it's nice. Option number three, looks good. Number 10, looks good. And then the conclusion, let's try that as well. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, so that's it. In this video, I've showed you how you can create nice, simple, free table of content on your own with the Elementor Free Page Builder. I hope you found what you were looking for through this video. If you did, please hit like for this video. Consider subscribing the channel if you would like to learn how to make awesome websites. So you have a good day, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.